back now before we talk about the NBA Finals we got to talk about something special Brandon what's up with your tie right there I'm glad you brought that up Devin it's a uh, Father's Day gift that came early uh, my wife said here I want you to have this I didn't know what it was going to be and uh, I am just so excited this is my favorite show yeah. to watch with my kids so what is it with blue I see some uh, little dogs so on this there is bluey it's the best kids show around right now so you get the word the tie loud and proud uh, the tie loud and proud huh oh yeah yeah that is that is <laughs> our number one favorite show to watch uh, kids show or adult show in our house. I don't think my wife agrees with that, but, <laughs> but that's how I feel. Now we got to talk about the basketball game that just wrapped up the NBA Finals. It's going to a fifth game. The Dallas Mavericks finally showing some life. Yeah, they yeah. Were. Where have they been? Yeah, I don't know. I have Where no idea. Where did this come from? Yeah, the consensus obviously was that before the game that it was all wrapped up. Celtics they won by about 30 points tonight. 38 Let's cue the points. highlights. Oh, yeah. Mavericks led 34-21 after one. And we're up by 32 going into the fourth quarter. Joe Mazzulla said uh, he threw in the towel tonight. Yeah, it was done. They he were said done. all the starters come off the floor. Yeah, but at the start of the fourth quarter, usually you'll do that with like four minutes left to go in the game. But no, after the third quarter was over, he's like, yeah, I don't want to see any more of this. We're done. And look, the Celtics are a very, very well-run organization, very smart about what they do with their players. Joe Mazzulla and the Celtics making the right call, taking all his guys out. But you know what? Luka Doncic and the Mavericks answering the call because yes. most of the national media was talking about after game three, Luka Doncic, where's the defense? Right. Fouling out with four minutes to go in game Complaining three. Complaining to the refs, yep. And so now you see this performance. Do you think the Mavericks have a chance? No, I don't think they have a chance. No team in any series has ever come back from an 0-3 deficit. I don't think they have a chance to win, but I do think that they found some kind of formula, and it all starts on the offensive end where, well, on both ends. They got to play better defense, and they were playing amazing defense today, but really they got to score. They've been held under 100 points in multiple games this series, that's and that's been, that's been a huge, huge problem. I know people have been talking about, as you mentioned, Luka Doncic's defense, but if you only score 98 points in today's NBA, you're not winning any games and today well, Luka you play and Kyrie, defense like that you're gonna win games yes yeah, so you do play defense like that but I think Boston is just too talented of an offensive team to be slowed down to that extent I think they did have an off shooting night but a lot of it has to do with Dallas's defense and when Luka and Kyrie both go off they both had 20 plus points today they combined for about 50 this is something that as long as they get the next uh, enough stops Maybe they can steal another game, maybe steal right. another two right. games and come back in six games. I just don't think Boston is going to blow a three to nothing. Lead. Here's the thing about the Mavericks, the consistency. We need to see consistent yeah. effort from them every single time out, especially now yeah. when you're facing elimination every time you go out on the floor. Yeah, you're right. You're and facing a Celtics team that's very well coached. Mm -hmm. Got a number of fantastic players. Drew Holiday is an NBA champion. Yep. Jason uh, Tatum, he's not a superstar, but he, he is a star. He is a star. Jalen Brown. Brown. Three hundred million dollar man. Extremely smart player. Yep. And then and you got, you got Al, Horford. Al Horford. Yep. That team is stacked. You have to come with your A game. You may have the best player in the series, Luka Doncic. Right. But if he's not playing smart basketball, defense every possession, you're not going to win the series. It's all it's all IQ is what you just mentioned. A lot of it is just intensity and IQ. And so we're going to see if that's going to translate. I just think they had a lot of desperation. They didn't want to get swept. So we're really going to see what they look like when they play Game Five. Dallas, just win game five. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's move on now. The Florida Panthers just one win away from their first ever Stanley Cup championship in franchise history. The Oilers fighting hard in this one. They trailed by three in the third, but scored two goals late to close within one. But goalie Sergei Bobrovsky and the Panther defense standing tall as they hold off the rally. Attention now turns to game four. Stanley Cup will be in the house in Edmonton tomorrow night. Yeah, the Panthers are saying they will not change the approach going into the potential elimination game. Oilers veterans saying when your backs are against the wall like this, you have to lean on each other, and we have done that all season. So let's check in on the mentality for these two teams. Obviously great, but we know it's uh, it's going to be the hardest game for sure. And uh, obviously we take everything. Uh, we don't take anything granted. So every single day is one day at a time, one one thing at a time. We can, we can string together a lot of wins. Uh, we've shown it. Obviously the stakes are a little bit higher. We're playing a better team than we would in the regular season, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's uh, any doubt in our room. Now, in case you're wondering, Devin, yes, a team has come back from a 3-0 deficit in the Cup Finals. The 1942 Maple Leafs wow. beat the Red Wings. Wow. 
and uh, and won the cup. So all other 27 teams weren't able to get it's it going done. back, what, 82 years? Yes. So. <laughs> Game four coming up tomorrow night at 8 o'clock here on WMDT. Coming up, we have developing news on a fire that tore through a home in Sharptown. And a mural displaying unity has the community in Rehoboth in an uproar after being destroyed. I'm Selah Foreman with Wild High Girls Basketball, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.